Okay, fine. The thing is that uh, on going through your uh, the soft copy of uh, the material available with me, unlike the offline class, hope you can listen me well. Hello. Yes, sir. Listen. Okay, fine. Now the yes, thing sir, is sir. that. Okay. okay. Now uh, the thing is that uh, this uh, the various theories are uh, spread over the book. I wish to do it in a different way. That, uh, for example, in the unit one and two, it is speaking high on uh, differentiating between counseling, guidance, psychotherapy, and lot more. And what is the role of counselor? All this, I believe, uh, you can simply read and write for the exam. So what I am trying to do is that. i want to do the practical application of all this what is said so in a single uh, uh, elaborate definition i am going to cover all these points mentioned in the 1 and 2 so for example it is mentioning about a solar that is face uh, posture etc hound dud that is homely old dumb unintelligent uh, disadvantage and to adjust likewise lot of postulations a lot of concepts with regard to uh, counseling so i uh, talking about therapy the differentiation so all these i am uh, going to do uh, in a different way by working on this you will be very clear about uh, what exactly is mentioned in 1 and 2 units so after you and i will be sending this in the group also uh, so i am just reading it out once again Speaking high on differentiating between counseling, guidance, psychotherapy, and a lot more, trying to differentiate counseling as a post problem while guidance as a pre problem. So all these things, you know, you have to use your common sense and common logic. For example, in the career guidance, it is telling that it's a uh, pre problem. Need not be after joining to a career also he may require uh, counseling sessions. So the guidance may be required even after choosing a. a career so example for example say for example the covid period many uh, star value careers are not functioning or not giving any earning so likewise you will be requiring so all these things accordingly you have to modify and all the new experiences the covid and all that we never expected that we will be in the online class so please try to modify in uh, within the limitations of your syllabus and uh, in unit 2 it again speaks about various process in the next slides all an all inclusive concept on its uh, practical application and its various highlights like solar hound dud so all these are summarized in an elaborate definition once you assimilate this uh, particular definition i am going to work with you all the unit 1 and 2 will be clear in a better way so i hope you can listen me well and uh, can i begin go to the next slide yes sir illa illa proceeding of this will get it okay fine then after that i will be uh, sending all this uh, ppt i am presenting here uh, by end of all my classes okay now see uh, you have to carefully verbatim learn all this the psychotherapy though psychotherapy is used to mean helping treating advising guiding educating and even influencing this is an inevitable discipline in the field of psychology for example in the first year itself i told you if you advise a person you will be a failure so still uh, certain area you have to advise but the client should not feel that you are advising because no one likes advising so uh, for example the, the learning disability technical matters you have to give 100% advice only but still they should not feel you have to present it in such a way that uh, false proof uh, evidence uh, you have to present so they will not feel that it is an advice so uh, in any case the psychotherapy consists in inevitable discipline in the field of psychology sociology psychiatry case work everywhere this uh, psychotherapy is done the working definition definition of psychotherapy is indispensable so let us go to a working definition it will be all inclusive of your work that you have to accomplish so psychotherapy the technical definition which you may not be seeing any of the books or in your own text but it is these uh, concepts are spread over uh, 
various uh, chapters mentioned in your material so psychotherapy is the treatment by psychological means of problems of an emotional nature in which a trained person deliberately establishes a professional relationship with the patient with an object of see for example let me elaborate this it is certainly a treatment but we are using psychological means or uh, concerning the emotional nature you know by this time you have come to second year now you are very clear that uh, emotions are dealt even our emotions are to be dealt while doing the counseling work so it's a trained person is required so and a professional relation few things are telling i am again elaborating in through other uh, slides the coming slides upcoming slides but you please try to understand it's a we are it's a, first thing it's a treatment no doubt about it second thing is that its emotional nature is dealt and a trained person is required now you know rci is there there are a lot of uh, conditions uh, for beginning a program counseling program there are certain rules and regulations ethics everything if somebody is somebody has to mute uh, please mute because some sounds are disturbing me so they will try the person please mute somebody may please mute in which a trained person deliberately establishes a professional relationship this is very very important because we do <coughs> both uh, academic <coughs> sorry <coughs> academic work as well as uh, we do uh, therapy i mean the counseling work so yeah establishing a professional relationship is very very important because you know, that uh, you may might have started doing already doing the um, case work i mean Uh, the internship where msc mental status examination why this is very important uh, unless there is there is a relation even eye contact may not take place that uh, the uh, person may be disinterested if he is not interested the counseling will not work so then what shall so what we discuss now it is a treatment using psychological means we are not using drugs problems of emotional nature we are dealing there should be a trained person establishing of a professional list and what is expected from us what is our objective certainly removing modifying or retarding very simple removing yes if a person has got aggression hatredness remove it if he has got uh, unrealistic thoughts we have got very many many therapies for us and everything will be studied one by one by end of this course end of this uh, fifth day class i'm sure that you won't have any doubts maybe some uh, reality therapy art therapy etc that without a classroom we may not be able to accomplish the art therapy and all that so don't worry we will try to finish uh, whatever is possible so removing modifying or retarding sometimes only modification is possible for example a person has got a suicidal tendency yes at least let him take a decision that i will leave for the society and retarding stepping down stepping down means uh, uh, suppose certain views certain thoughts certain beliefs are changed he may step down from the aggressive behavior or uh, from any of the negative thoughts even spitting on the rod he may retard okay let uh, let me do let me not do something that is unsocial so so remove modifying retarding existing symptoms then second one is mediating disturbed patterns of behavior for example you yourself may be having uh, obsessions so by mediating this uh, obsessions are disturbed so such obsession is controlled maybe including biblical therapy may be required so in that way uh, you can reduce the disturbing patterns of behavior and promoting positive personality growth and development that is why the first year itself you have studied the difference between growth and development here both are mentioned promoting positive personality growth and development 
so uh, growth is certainly quantitative development it is qualitative so here growth and development both are meant for uh, qualitative certainly the quantity in the sense the amount of knowledge that he gather so uh, and certainly the career guidance is also coming under this positive personality growth and development so now it is very simple i have already explained but the explanation is again given in the in the form of uh, slide see i'm just repeating because unless or else you are very clear about this you will not know what is your duty so psychotherapy is a treatment no matter whatever is applied for this purpose psychological means all methods used for this purpose acting on psyche doubtful strictly speaking drug therapy we are not supposed to do it of course the psychiatrists and psychologists together work drug therapy that the knowledge awareness is required for you problems of an emotional nature emotional problems of which are diverse distorts individuals normal functioning in the psychic somatic interpersonal and community life see the emotion emotional nature when i explained i just mentioned emotional nature that we will be having emotional nature with everybody but even in our work work uh, uh, friend uh, in their personal relations social community in, within the family the emotional illness are multiple involved with the total human life so human performance so are you clear about uh, what i have been discussed now somebody may just respond so that i can proceed yes okay let, let me proceed so then a trained person for getting a relief it is after that one get involved himself in a relationship with a trained person that's why uh, for example today i will be covering because um, i'm just uh, deviating from the first portion of one and two in the third and four various theories are mentioned for example uh, the behavioral theory uh, rogers theory a lot of things are mentioned but the many of the things first year i had uh, taken i'll be taking this once again and the therapy part will be discussed but the thing is uh, for example the transaction analysis was uh, not a portion of your first year syllabus so just uh, i you know, introduced to that concept in the class but this time you have to study little detail even that little detail will not be sufficient here you see suppose a ta practitioner why a trained person is required in psychotherapy is that the psychotherapy involves dozens of therapies that you know these are all based on uh, different types of theories for example uh, pavlovian theory skinnerian theory uh, uh, carl rogers theory adlerian theory freudian theory lot of trait theories we studied all these apt how to use in a apt way finding out the after finding out the problem of the client for example a client may be having uh, just uh, a trait that is disturbing him for example he has got a we have studied in the last two year uh, internal locus of control versus external locus of control suppose a person is having a lot of external locus of control uh, do you remember what the difference between uh internal locus of control and external locus of control can somebody say anyone knows the difference between internal locus of control versus external locus of control in the trait theory we studied this yes sir okay fine the thing is that why a trained person is required a trained person certainly study the whole syllabus for example you have to appreciate igno igno covers no not in that detail most of these concepts are well explained through its academics for example i am today i am explaining uh, the i am taking a class on ta why because it is there in the unit 2 3 and 4 but not in detail what happens if you study that alone uh, what will happen is that you will have got a very limited knowledge of so a trained person will have vast knowledge in every every theory including the trait theory for example you yourself or my own student or myself may have a wrong trait for example one of the important uh, such trait is that internal locus of control versus external locus of control internal locus of control is that um, a person takes the responsibility of his life 
he will not blame anything whatever goes wrong in his life he will never blame anybody what a person who has got external look at the dot he will always blame others suppose uh, you know in the first year how we performed uh, in our academics in the college like a university we you enjoyed all the class but those who uh, joined now they didn't get any class or they got only online class they may think what is this but the way in we enjoyed you enjoyed the first year they didn't get so they may think why i joined for this i didn't get any interaction i got only a few classes online what to do because of the covid we have limitations so and if you really understand you won't blame anybody that is the importance of extra I mean, internal locus of control one takes the responsibility of his own life so external locus of control means a person always blame if he is not able to pass it is a problem of the university if he, he is not getting good marks yes the university is like that to me and uh, suppose there is a failure in the life what will happen he will say the spouse is responsible their uh, family is responsible my life is lost that is external locus of control so a trained person if he can identify what exactly is the trouble in a person for example uh, in, i think in the second year uh, practical you will be uh, study the same traits uh through sentence completion test sentence completion test where three traits are measured uh where socialization how a person socializes i suppose 30 is the maximum mark that you are supposed to get and you may be getting 30 and uh, anybody usually would appreciate that very good that uh, that person has got 30 is very good but uh, the problem reported is that he is poor in academics so if I, the therapist is not tra trained he cannot understand the reason because when you test the intelligence the academics he has got good knowledge he can read understand and reproduce but here uh, maybe his high skills in socialization because he is like a chocolate everybody is peers uh, juniors seniors everybody want him in the college for various activity this socialization he is uh, killing his time likewise even a very silly thing may be a problem for the performance of a person or non accomplishment of a person that only a trained person can understand i hope you are clear now are you yes sir yes sir likewise um, even if when i take the class in ta you will come to know that uh, ta uh, explains a particular area of psychology only so the problem is that a person studied is a practitioner in ta he knows only ta he doesn't know any other concepts in uh, psychology what will be do uh, what he will be doing he will be concentrating on the interaction phase only stimulus response but of course that is very good in uh, family therapy and many other things but the thing is that if he studies that alone he will not be able to perform so a trained person should have very good knowledge so uh, for example my dear friends i am taking an advance permission from you though in the your syllabus very few illnesses are explained unlike uh, clinical but uh, i'm just uh, doubtful suppose you are not aware about all the entire uh, uh, psycho psychological illnesses how will you understand how will you find out this and do a the appropriate therapy so likewise we will I, in addition to covering of all the syllabus i will be covering most of the portions in clinical also though only some anxiety uh, only personality problem etc is uh, covered in your syllabus so you will come to know by the tomorrow's class i will be covering that that because i will take every theory and i will link to every associate that with every illness so you will be able to know uh, through which therapy Uh, you can resolve the problem so let me read it once again a trained person means for getting relief it is apt that one get involved himself in a relationship with a trained person that is when one realizes that one's happiness and productivity are being sabotaged by inner forces that he is neither able to understand nor to control consequence may be a restoration of homeostasis 
as the result of helping process sometimes disastrous to both participants that is why a trained person why a trained person is required best example i'll tell you suppose in the first year right this is uh, i am i am also very clear about uh, explaining taking this class because i am very responsible when i take this particular class for in the first year itself i told you you took uh, pnea psychosis psychotism neurotism extraversion all these things you studied suppose after testing or after measuring you come to know that the unconscious part of freud they all I mean, you are depositing the, the client is depositing all the painful memories everything to the uh, unconscious that is troubling us uh, obsession what will happen suppose you are not trained you openly tell that uh, client that these are the problem all the all the ch childhood uh, painful memories are giving problem to you then what will happen will uh, what will happen to the client Uh, will his problem will get aggravated or resolved tell me will it get aggravated or will it get resolved if you openly tell that that person is having uh, neurotic traits <coughs> suppose you openly tell uh, the client that the client is having this uh, childhood uh, painful memories and from the unconscious that is disturbing you every time uh, that is your problem suppose you openly tell your client that what will happen to that client will it uh, get subsided or will will it get aggravated ah uh, aggravated sir that is why you need a train you should be a trained person so you have to re realize uh, how productivity productively you can deal with the client so that is why it can also be disastrous unless or is you are well trained it can be disastrous because when we take up uh, the therapeutic work of freud psychoanalysis etc you will come to know that mm, why it is uh, disastrous because you will uh, there is also a frequently a question is asked uh, what is transference and counter transference both are dangerous unless or is it is resolved through an application of cognitive behavior therapy etc because the person should understand for example uh i am coming i am practicing my client a client has come to me but client is revealing about lot of uh, sexual abuse lot of things happened in his childhood suppose the the practitioner also had the therapist also had a such painful experiences now that will come to that to the minds of the therapist he will not be able to therapy now so he will also be disturbed uh, disturbed so it should be unless or is you are well trained uh, that is why we have got the limitations of covid let us uh, still uh, share all our feelings in this class you can also i think uh, you have already created a counseling group or you have to create and uh, you have to chat with me through whatsapp i can clear any of your doubts uh, uh, suppose uh, this is disastrous to both that is why a person who is having a social tendency if you are not a trained person what will happen you will uh, tell after hearing all these you know few concepts of uh, freud the unconscious disturbances the uh, what do you call defensive mechanism that the child the person has been uh, doing suppose you tell that openly to that person means that he will get aggravated so that means it, it it may stimulate his thoughts in suiciding so all these things only a trained person can understand all this by end of this program you will program means by all the five classes uh, you will come to know what you should do what you should not do okay. now deliberately establishing a professional relationship i already mentioned this the core of therapeutic relationship is one deliberately planned and nurtured by the therapist so because you have unless the is uh, the client has got a willingness to cooperate with the clinician that is why the, in the forthcoming uh, lines i will come to know why a co therapist is required suppose you should have friendship with other therapists suppose you are not able to satisfy or you feel that uh, uh, not a good relation is uh, able to, able to be kept while talking while discussing you can definitely refer to your friend and explain in advance the problem so our purpose is in losing of the client or getting a client the life of the client is more important 
he should have a homeostasis and we ourselves if there is a problem we must be able to speak uh, together and clear all our paranoid thoughts the paranoia all this you will be studying and with your permission i will be covering all the uh, most of the illnesses in the um, uh, forthcoming classes now the patient say so it is uh, we have got a client client centered therapy and all that it is uh, so many th therapists have said we are not supposed to address our client as a patient let him be only a client it may also be required to relate himself to more than one patient as in marital or group therapy that's why yeah, sometimes a lot of uh, coordination is required to treat uh, the client so you have to bring many people in, in the story you may sometimes you may have to travel for this uh, the patient so it depends on the case sometimes a student is coming the relationship is uh, turmoil relation with the school you may have to go to school also that way only you will be able to really solve the uh, problem of a client how far it is possible only through practicing you can understand the object is uh, removing existing symptoms <coughs> the prime goal is suppose it is a disturbing problem handicaps <coughs> imposed on the clients that has to be removed modify the symptoms suppose he has got a negative ego that that has to be made to positive what best you can do you do remove is the removal is the best thing if it is not possible modify or retard step down suppose certain psychotic disorder psychologists have got very very limited role only or even uh, 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 drinking or a drug addiction psychologists may suppose depending on its uh, chronicity the psychologists may have only very limited role but or in the schizophrenia where totally psychotic unrealistic uh, thoughts are there in such a case also it is not possible uh, for the psychologist to solve the problem so step down uh, bring him to the realistic life family life and improved uh, status uh, homeostasis can be achieved so mediating disturbed patterns of behavior so uh, that is why in carl rogers theory and all that we will once again discuss in next class carl rogers is telling five conditions uh, how one can be happy how one can be realistic in the life how one can be artful in the life all these uh, things even a handicapped person uh, a person with uh, body dysmorphic disorder you see all these disturbing patterns can be changed he can uh, improve the his vision towards the life that is why it is written in the red dealt by teachers sociologists religious leaders and law makers all this there is a relevance of psychotherapy that everybody has to practice and understand now the objective of psychotherapy are broadened again in the requirement of psychotherapy in all this area promoting positive personality growth and development so here uh, see the what is mentioned the red it deals with immaturity inhibited growth previously considered inaccessible to treatment for example you have studied where is this uh, personality growth and development you have studied can you just tell in the first year where did you study this please let that be a mistake no problem where did you study this uh, theories on development you forgot everything can somebody say you i taught you in mbc 2 in detail the development theories which are they please someone open the mouth hello not getting need i tell my dear students sir so, uh, piaget's cognitive development theory yes 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 most important is the are all important then but as far as fluids ah oh, very good very good so uh, psychosexual development theory all are important all are important but openly when you say the development theory is uh, related to 
all are equally important and lot of other things studies theories that you have studied and i shared uh, all the five videos in the group uh, in mbc2 you can watch once again it is there so in the uh, personality growth and development all the development things are equally important in uh, when you practice you should be very clear about i will once again send the chart because uh, in a nutshell you must be able to know uh, in uh, Eric Erikson's theory, right from uh, zero age to death, I mean, the end of the life, it is mentioned. So whenever a client is coming, you must be able to understand in which uh, uh, category he belongs to. Here also, you should not openly say that, okay, you, uh, your child lost uh, the 6 to 12 academic and socialization. That is a problem that you cannot, be, you cannot be rebuilt. Then also, uh, client will be helpless. There are many, many ways of resolving the problem. I request you to watch uh, all the five videos of uh, I have uploaded. I have sent to uh, through YouTube. Now it is available to YouTube. Uh, you can watch all the five. You will understand what is the importance of such theories of uh, growth and development. So the primary aim is psychosocial development. See, it is clearly written in blue. The primary aim is psychosocial development. That is, with more gratifying relationship with the people, there will be creative self fulfillment, productive attitudes towards life, etc. So, psychotherapy now expanded its horizon from helping to liberation of rich resources of human mind. Throw away the neurotic obstructions which stunned its growth. So, in uh, Unit 3 and 4, so, uh, my dear students, uh, when I explained about the psychotherapy, uh, now are you clear about your role as psychologist? So that I can proceed to other units. Hello? Yes, sir. So, uh, let me discuss the three and four contents. Maybe due to the limitations of IGNO study materials. Are mentioning psychoanalytical and Adlerian approach, person centered and gestalt approach with a peripheral mentioning of these concepts. Because it is so elaborate that the text they may not be able to include everything. But of course, through using the PPT, I wish I will be able to cover all the therapies and its application in the day to day life. Later, especially in the applied psychology part that I'll be covering. Later in Unit 4, it gives a few more tips on psychoanalysis and psychodynamic. So psychodynamic and psychoanalysis, what is the difference all this mentioning? It also talks about TA in the similar fashion. Further, it explains the behavioral approach also. There's a mention on reality therapy. So now, since I have covered all of that, uh, maybe that except Ad Adlerian, I didn't do detail. I'm sure uh, the last year, since I was taking the MBC3, I covered all behavioral therapies, all psychoanalytic therapy, Freudian approach. Uh, all this I had explained in detail. What I had to uh, do in detail at that, uh, Adlerian, Gestalt, and uh, maybe TA also I just mentioned, Adlerian just mentioned, because that was not a part of your syllabus. So this time, I'm going to, so I'll be covering all other uh, person centered approach, everything I'll be covering. But uh, to make you understand how I will be doing those theories also, uh, because those other theories, uh, you know the base. Whereas the TEA, you may not be having the base and its application. Here also in your text, it's mentioned about I am okay, you are okay, that how, the four, uh, how the entire population is divided into four, all these things are applied, uh, uh, explained. But that won't be enough. You Now, today onwards, you must be able to so, in this TA, you will come to know that just by studying the concepts of, for example, uh, the parent, adult, child alone, you may not be able to understand its application. Today, I am going to do a detailed theoretical part and application part of TA. The same way I wish to cover all the behavioral therapy, everything, tomorrow's class, and how it can be applied to which uh type of mental disorders this type of theory can be applied so in that way when i explain you will be able to link the theory and therapy and particular mental disorders 
so when you start doing your internship your internship is uh, is supposed to be covered in 240 hours 10 cases 24 hours per bit i know that because of the covid limitations you will not be able to do i had already cleared uh, covered all this and given a sample in the group uh, now uh, how do you feel if i do the class like this uh, after after i take this ta i'll come back to you with the same question that is if i take uh, the unit wise just the unit wise uh, you may not be able to link the you know, theory therapy as well as the mental disorders i wish to do in such a particular way that uh, i'll be taking a particular theory and which all uh, diseases illnesses can be cured using what all therapies uh, so let me complete one therapy one theory uh, based on my plan and i want your response so today i wish to cover ta concepts purposely i linked a few aspects of other theories that also you have to understand when i take ta i may be linking few concepts of behavior therapy or i may be being, uh, linking uh, a few concepts of freud because he was also in the freudian uh, school so i'll be covering all these things um, because you got uh, my my second year students you got better understanding and its application in detail and finish rest covered in unit 3 Uh, in detail tomorrow and that way tomorrow onwards i'll be covering all the behavioral therapy uh, all the other person centered therapy adrenaline therapy just all everything and i'll be linking with every uh, mental disorders it will, it will be helpful for you let me begin with the ta so in your book also it is given that is is only telling i'm okay you are okay i'm okay you are not okay i am not okay you are okay and i am not okay you are not okay so now please try to understand uh, let us uh, begin uh, linking of this category for category of people with a certain illness or homeostasis see for example just think when uh, a relation a re because uh, the whole psychology is relationally when a relation is uh, continuing like i am okay you are okay that means there is no disturbance there is a clear homeostasis whether it's husband and wife children and parents school teachers and uh, students parents uh, society whatever so here is the condition is that i am okay you are okay such a relation will definitely continue you can uh, definitely assess your relations say after you shook the hand hello and tell tell, tell uh, hello some relation end with that that day some relation till your death it may continue till the death of either of the person so likewise when a person is okay whether it's husband and wife on the first period of life it was i'm okay you're okay maybe sometimes adichu periyam igatalle just after one week or one month the problem starts so when a person is not okay so here so long as i'm okay you are okay the problem will be the will be solved there will not be any problem and the relation will continue so it's just based on transaction alone how it can be done but when you study in detail suppose a person studying only transaction analysis he will not understand the, how eric bern brought all these things what all theories he depended but in fact he depended all the theories uh, all other theories to make his concepts of the parent adult child and all because he is he himself is explaining all these concepts in between so when i am okay you are okay the relationship is the best available so if i want to say i am okay you are not okay just imagine when you say he is not all right many of the cases that person may be all right also maybe that you are paranoid on them just imagine that could be one of the reasons so when you have got a faith in the other person you would every time complain that uh, that person is not all right so even uh, the palanjalle proverbs proverbs in our uh, local society uh, you have heard ishta lata chike totta dakka kutta then ishtam then ishtam is not there the other person is not okay for him also you are not okay so when a person is uh, of this category i am okay because i am perfectly alright the problem is with other person 
the same way the external locus of control. I am okay. The problem is with the university, problem is with spouse, problem is with society, problem is with government. So when you say internal locus of control, that problem won't be there. So in the next category, I'm not okay, you are okay. Here, uh, people used to tell, uh, ah, why the God is like me, God is like that to me. I am always in turmoil, I am always in trouble. How other people are uh, happily living? How see the happiness of others? I cannot. Uh, I didn't get a job, I didn't get a good life. My children are not okay. Society is behaving to me like this, or the government is like to me. So all this, that, that may, to some extent is true also. But what happens to that person? That person is depressive. So that person is depressive. When a person is telling that, mm, I'm not okay. My life has is lost. I lost my life. I didn't gain anything. That means that person is in a depressive mode. So another thing is that one is schizoid. That means if it's a state of, I'm not okay, you are not okay. Here, both the people, I, neither I am happy nor the other person is happy. So a person is schizoid when a, uh, both the people, boy, he's thinking about both people, the, the world itself is not good. My dear students, did you at least understand this concept of uh, Eric Byrne? Okay, actually Eric Byrne was uh, in the traditional school, but he was from a well-to-do family. With his father, he was, used to go to rounds and he could observe many people. When he wanted to he wanted to bring his particular theory before American uh, Psychological Association. They summarily rejected it. He said this man is uh, not normal. So he himself started his school. Now it is uh, much bigger than APA, that is ICTA, International Conference on Transactional Analysis. At the Shandy Graham in the South Kalmashiri, there's an office. So here now I go before this particular father who was promoting transaction analysis in Kerala, that was, uh, he is no more, is a Kandathil Actually, when I was in school, or maybe in the plus two or the pre-degree level, I, there was some opening that I had to go and meet his uh, center. He, in fact, uh, blessed me to become a good psychologist. I did, at that time, I didn't know anything about psychology. I never thought of joining psychology. So I go be, before him. So from the uh, translations, uh, made from his Malayalam book, that also I am quoting here. Uh, by the time, the time I complete this, you will know how to do, how to practice uh, transaction analysis. Only the base, because transaction analysis itself is a, such a vast uh, work. His school has developed a lot of other things. That also I have included, the easiest method of doing it. So please try to understand that. Uh, by, just by learning this TA, uh, you cannot be a psychologist. But when you practice this TA along with other theory, certain concepts of this TA alone can solve the troubles in the family, in the society, in the workforce, in the relationships. Can also solve many of the psychological issues, especially that of neurotic. So here, Eric Ben also took a few concepts from uh, psychoanalysis. For example, the mortido and libido the death instinct and pleasure instinct. He took it. But it is not to be taken in the crude sense of sex. It is uh, to be taken as a pleasure. He also brought another concept called physics. He defined the physics as a general creative force which eternally strives to make things grow and to make growing things more perfect. See, the beauty of this uh, physics concept. A general creative force eternally tries to make things grow. Not only that, things has to be grown. How it should grow? It should grow in a more perfect way, day by day. So all these other concepts, altos, rows that I will be explaining in another the progressive way a person has to grow. That is the most important thing he has brought. So that is a solution to the mortido. See, the more to do with this death instinct, you, yourself, many of the students, or myself, or people who have thought, what is life? Why not I, why should I, why I should not end up the uh, life? So the pain, uh, no problem in giving pain and receiving pain. Mortido may be there. But the thing is that physics gives an answer. 
that is there is a creative force in us we have not only we have to grow we have to grow in a progressive manner so the concepts of ta is that the communication face to face with a special reference to verbal communication is a center of human social relationships when two persons meet one person open up some kind of communication either verbal or gestural which is a transaction stimulus so very simple whenever you are seeing a particular person you are giving some gestures some verbal clue that is a transaction stimulus how we can understand this we can definitely see say for example uh, you don't like me you don't wish to see jai sindh sir on seeing you can say you may frown the dislike naturally i understand you don't like i also may not approach the relation ends there so what is a transaction response the reaction from the other person is a transaction response but suppose you are very good in transaction analysis and if you are not see here it says games games played by the people that we will come to uh, this particular concept later but in uh, that is why uh, these concepts are also taken from freudian concept of defensive mechanism most of the plays are defensive mechanism surely in t so the transaction response uh, you can improve suppose a transaction stimulus was not good through better transaction response you can improve a relation so we will come to know that in the next uh, pac parent adult child you will come to know that the person sending the stimulus is the agent the person who responds stimulus is the responder now let's go to the next uh, you will be clear once i complete all this so <coughs> one of the best methods i follow in the this is actually it is not introduced by eric burn by his school later to make the person understand because the school researched this concept again and again so it concluded that a parent also can be a small boy so but the parent adult child the three concepts are entirely different that you know, it's a little complicating thing that is why i'll be very slow in the verse. next one hour i'll be covering uh, each and every concept in so detail so minutest way to make you understand and you should start practicing it from today onwards then that will be a part and parcel of your counseling so you can link all this with all therapies cbt is the apex of all this all these series you can include in the cbt also so parent a simple definition to parent is so simple and elaborate definition i am giving so simplest uh, definition to parent is the taught to part whatever has been taught is a parent and concrete not only the teaching that is getting vanished to uh then conscious no use the parent means something has been concreted as a part of learning so behavioral theory is also learning concept is there so that's why he is not that is why american psychological association was against him what he said that many things that is uh, you are discussing it is there in the psychology other psychology but he is bringing in different way simplifying this particular area of transaction so let us read so let's let just uh, by had that uh, parent is the taught part what has whatever has been taught to, to you even through a child i will uh, tell you an example later so even if a child is teaching you something that has become a part of concrete a part of your learning that can be treated as a parent it is later his schools derived all these concepts now child is the felt part whatever felt that is you would have heard chirikumbo uh, thane kare the kunjangale chirikum chelapo appo thane kare likewise the felt part whatever is felt is a childish part but whether that is a healthy thing where when it is unhealthy thing all this we will be studying that's why you should be very curious to watch this particular ppt and listen to my explanation then only you can understand because in the offline i can also have individual discussion and make you clear now that is not possible of course you can come to the whatsapp 
so the adult part is the thought part here is you will understand you have studied cognition i taught you in mpc03 uh, the cbt part a little i have taught because the cognition you have you may be remembering a half circle i wrote i drew on the board stimulus the stimulus is coming to the senses then to the brain then responding that is actually the thought part real cognition that is actually the base of cognitive therapy also so the parent is the thought part what has been taught by others and concreted in your brain and uh, upcoming every time as a behavior is the parent upcoming every time as a behavior then only it becomes a parent then the thought part whatever comes uh, you will think and take a decision child is not at all even thinking whatever is felt at that time see all these doesn't mean that i wish to reiterate that none of these uh, concepts of parent adult child are wrong all these are healthy when it is used in an appropriate way i will come in the discussion again suppose when i discuss you come to know you feel that parent is bad wrong parent is certainly good how the lot of many good things you have studied so parent is certainly good child certainly the child is good you will come to know in the next version i am just mentioning suppose you don't have a child uh, faculty child ego state so these are ego states mental states suppose you don't have child ego state how will you cuddle a small child it's not possible how you will be romantic how can you be romantic in your private life you need a chi child in you because uh, the wife may become the daughter of the husband sometimes the wife may become the mother of the husband all this child part is required so nothing is wrong how it is appropriately used is a success so this called he will call it he call it as integrated adult so all this will come to know at least are you clear about what is at least the basic concept parent means whatever has been taught in you and became a part of your learning and behavior then is the that is the parent not only that learning that you have to make it as a part and you use it in your everyday life then only it becomes a parent and child is a felt part so that is a disease sometimes when it becomes a disease or we uh, erickman call it as contamination because as you know the cognition is the best thing adult is the best thing the thought part whatever comes uh, stimulus whatever stimulus comes that you think uh, uh, using the brain and take a decision assess using the senses sensory mechanisms then um, uh, you assimilate it then use brain uh, finalize and take a decision that is the adult that is the cognition so a parent is what has been taught to you and you practice not only taught if suppose it has gone vanished then it is not a parent it is even if a child is teaching you or you learned something from the child and it has been concreted and it is uh, being used in your day to day life then it becomes parent that may be good that may be bad how it is bad how it is good all this you will be studying then a reference the child part is a felt part so <coughs> the parent so the thought part active internally as in a person's own mental dialogue derived from a set of feelings attitudes and behavior patterns which resemble those of the parental figure you will be clear after i explain few more slides now just uh, listen not acting like a parent but actually reproducing that's what it said just learn something and you modify then that is not a parent when you act the same way same pattern then it becomes a parent so the, here also even if you act exactly like a parent nothing wrong so so far so, so long as it is a healthy parent so inhibitions reasoning impulses as well as mother's child ego state what mother how mother behaved to me uh, when i was a child the same way i reproduce that is a parent but that's a healthy parent so long as that promotes the uh, transaction and good relation so this is a very important uh, slide i'm trying to explain i, I will read after this i'm now the christmas is nearing you just see uh next month is the christmas 
by this time Christmas is over. So we have already we started celebrating, maybe within the limited COVID limitations and that, that that image has come, Christmas is not coming. So you just, uh, you don't look at the screen now, you listen to me now. See, you uh, see the international channels on Christmas, previous days of Christmas and all that, the Christmas celebration. You will come to know that. Whichever be the channel, whatever be the modification done to the Father Christmas, any child would say, this is Christmas Papa. It is Christmas Father Christmas. Why? Whatever modification is done, there is a limitation that we have learned that a Christmas Papa must have this figure. Whatever modification, dress, posture, whatever addition, deletion done, anybody would recollect that, that is Christmas Papa. So that is exactly the parent. So now we'll read and you will understand what it is. The parent is our ingrained voice of authority, absorbed conditioning, learning and attitudes formed when we are young we were conditioned by our real parents teachers older people next door neighbors aunts and uncles father christmas and jack frost our parent is made up of huge number of hidden and overt recorded playbacks typically embodied by phrases and attitudes starting with how to under no circumstances always never forget don't lie cheat, steal, etc. Our parent is formed by external events and influences upon us as we grow through early childhood. We can change it, but this is easier said than done. So when uh, Eric Byrne is telling this, it is there in our uh, proverb, Chotele Shilam Chodalavare. We have learned it. But if you believe Chotele Shilam Chodalavare is true, then is there any meaning in studying psychology? What change you can make? So he can better modify it with uh, Pavlov's uh, spontaneous recovery of learned behavior. It is not that easy to change because it has been concreted. I'm a Christian. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Muslim. I should live like this. All these are just parent. Suppose you uh, see the adopted child, adopted child. What is happening? Even if a Muslim child is adopted by Hindu parents and he lives in a Hindu family right from the very beginning, he will live like a Hindu. That's all. So religion is nothing but learning. So likewise, the parent is the, the ingrained voice of authority, the absorbed conditioning, the learning that takes place. So an example, when I have already explained with the Christmas uh, Papa, uh, when a parent admonish, advise a child not to stare rudely at people or to be brave at the dentist or to respect their elders. Another parental learning is habit once formed cannot be extinct. That is Chotele Shilam Chotele Vare. So it is not true that you can change, no doubt about it. And now I will come to a child, then I will come to adult. <coughs> a child. They bury a burnt sound sentence. <coughs> Sorry. A set of feelings, attitudes, and behavior patterns which are relics of individuals on childhood. But see, whatever you learned as a child in um, regression, one of the defensive mechanisms of Freud. Even Freud did not appreciate uh, regression. He says that that is uh, a threat on uh, maturity. So according to him, sublimation alone is the healthy defense mechanism. But they, you will come to know that regression of the child is good in the later part when we study. So that's why Bernd, uh, though he made a certain postulations, he certainly borrowed many concepts from many other theories. So therefore, it is a multitude of such child ego states which represents the entire earlier development history of an individual. But you cannot say that it is bad because such developmental history, child uh, uh, behavior, the memories that you have, that helps you behave in your private bedroom life, in, the, in your uh, private life, sexual relations, romantic relations, and when you cuddle a child, you need this. So when it is contaminating, that will come to know. The adult person does access relief as such in the present as if he were his child. So here I'm using a particular word. The here and now, you'll come to know what the meaning of here and now. 
most auchitya purnamaya, most appropriate, most apt behavior. Where if a child, I'm cuddling my child or grandchildren, then that means it's a good thing, so it's not bad. So when it is getting contaminated, is the important thing. Adult is certainly always good. Integrated is the best. We will study this. So child, when anger, despair dominates our reason, our child ego state is controlling us. So it's our internal reaction and feeling to external events from the child. Thus, the raw type of seeing, hearing, feeling, and emotional body of data are within each of us. No contribution from the thought part. When that is not there, the it's a child part. Like our parent, we can change it, but not that easy. Certain people are like, uh, say, for example, uh, even when I studied years back, I mean, even decades back, uh, when uh, even the tutors, with all the admiration and uh, prayer, respect to my teachers, even the teachers were not, uh, may not be knowing all this. When uh, my child ego state was very high, the people were appreciating me, and I was also happy. Later, I came to know that that child part, that is actually the, the, the internal reaction feeling is tested. So uh, no contribution from the thought part was there. That means that is an illness learned helplessness all the sorrows all un unwanted even the bipolar behavior there is a uh, elation all these are coming then it is an illness they much later only i came to know that i was suffering from such illnesses certainly studying psychology made me a person uh, to behave uh, in much more uh, adult integrated adult part so don't think that child is good always. If it is used as an integrated adult, within the integrated adult, child is good, parent is good. Otherwise, it is illnesses, contamination. We will learn this. Remember, the uncontrolled child also contributes quite a lot. In our romantic life, I told you. So need to apply logical limits. So adult dominating person, uh, when it is in integrated adult, full time you can be a child in certain circumstances and you play with a child in your romantic, nothing wrong. So uh, let's see one more, one more example. When one goes for a job or interview or when ill or when going through customs, traditions, many phobia, they respond to what they learned from the knowledge the childhood, child ego state. For example, in the behavioral theory you study, whatever learning that took place, See, you compare the life of a tribe and the modern uh, city living. Even a cockroach may disturb the whole life for hours in the whole family. But in a tribe, it will not. Uh, it will not because uh, if you think what uh, cockroach can do maximum, nothing. It may contaminate the food. You know, after washing, nothing will happen. It won't kill you. But why the, you are making all the troubles in the family, in the, in the uh, home atmosphere, in the class atmosphere, if a cockroach enters into your body? This is a child ego state only. So one child ego state learning is that girls to choose dolls and boys to choose gun. Here in Pavlovian theory, learning. So what do you do? When girls are there, you are taking to a function or there's a procession or there's a shops. You go to a shop, you buy certain toys, you buy a toy is uh, apt for girls. Who said this? It's nothing but uh, learning. When I was a child as a girl, I was uh, given dolls. So let me buy, buy the same type of dolls by, to my uh, female daughter. I mean, to the daughter. So the boys, you give gun. So all learning only. So let me go to the adult ego state. Now you can very easily understand what is adult. <coughs> adult is characterized by autonomous set of feelings, attitudes, and behavior patterns which are adapted to current reality. That's why here and now. Therefore, an integrated adult ego state. Now it is very easy for you to understand. The integrated adult ego state represents a biologically mature person with a full emotional response, the pathos. For example, even till seven year or eight year, uh, you may not have any shyness to be naked before your parents or even to the sisters 
some way going to bathroom so suppose that continues even at the 18th year age it may be a disturbance to whole family members see every, very recently by explaining this particular thing to be an adult you should be biologically mature that was good enough for that boy to understand that i should not behave like that so that is why a biologically mature person with a full emotional response a guiding set of considered values ethos so uh, three things biologically mature biological maturity one has to produce reproduce behave and a guide set of considered value and capacity to think clearly and to deal effectively with the need fulfillment in the here and now most healthy mental state most appropriate ettom auchitya purnamayi perumara biological maturity kanikya that is why this is very important when you deal with autistic children or uh, with a person with a uh, say in uh, certain schizophrenic conditions uh, biological maturity may not be there so autistic condition it may not be there uh, so in such a case what will happen is that they may not exhibit the behavior up to the at the uh, atmosphere uh, up to the context so what will happen is that the society will uh, ridicule him so the adult means there shall not be any contamination either from parent or from child so let me see through examples and how the contamination takes place after showing the contamination i come to the examples then it will be clear to you see contamination means see you just imagine the circles of parent adult and child are independent that it is not touched you just imagine now it is not touched so when a parent is encroaching the adult or the child is encroaching the adult we call it as contamination okay so let you have this picture in you that the contaminated the black and the portion in you then i'll come to the example it will be very clear to you i am giving few examples In the first year also, I just made an attempt uh, to make you understand this. Now only it is coming as a part of your syllabus. See, uh, you know that. Uh, see, a person who has got prejudice, a person who has got prejudice, he is going to appear for a court case. Most of the case that uh, he was only half faith. He never believed that he would win the case. but on uh, going out uh, taking the first step from the house he is seeing an elephant passing aside the road of his house so suppose he has got a faith belief that you know there are certain belief uh, in our society that seeing a woman with a uh, pot full of milk is a good sign of getting the things accomplished so in, in even now there are some families when they a person is going out somebody produce a pot of milk or even seeing a call girl a prostitute is good or seeing the shit is good so it's faith likewise there was there is a there is a faith that is taken from the kanda tilachana i told you i bowed before him every time because i translated from his malayalam publication to see the an elephant is a sign of fortune suppose a person has got a belief that person is now happy how ah, i saw this uh, elephant now sure i will win the case so suppose he has got a child ego stage how the child is very happy thrilled to see thrilled to see the elephant he would shout and dance he would call his uh, sisters brothers parents aunts see the elephant going see suppose uh, a person he always thinks in the adult ego stage he may think what's the reason why this uh, elephant is going bad he may recollect he may look at the calendar yes is tomorrow is a uh, function celebration of ulsava at the temple or the church so that is why an integrated adult uh, he will also enjoy the elephant going he may also have this seeing that the fortune is there but he will ignore both and he will select the most appropriate thing that is the elephant is being sent for a procession now you just read it you can understand i have to make it fast because i have to clear any of your doubts now 
a dog is seen dead on the road suppose a person like manaka gandhi or anybody uh, he uh, they loving the uh, dogs he would say he may may curse the driver if the driver was so some conscious were careful the dog would not have been dead a child is loves the, his pet likes the, likes the dog so much uh, may even cry what a pity but all looking at the dog the, there is already there some skin disease on the dog the dog is not uh, neatly maintained there is some belt on the neck he would understand that a person the adult would understand that it's a stray dog it's a stray dog so stray dog means in the street right now usually in the street what happens this way the dog sends so it's an adult street then the other thing uh, you may be remembering last uh, year also i just mentioned all those things so uh, this is a common thing that happens in our indian society patriarchal society the other way the learning applicable to this particular so kandathu lachan translated this exclusively for the carolites or uh, india uh, he explains this to to make you understand what is a parent because the patriarchal society whenever the food is demanded that should be available so in our, unlike the european countries so when the husband is not getting food on time he would shout at the wife he will forget everything what all good things done by the wife he would shout oh, what you have been doing there why the food is not ready then the husband, wife also may respond in another way her uh, parental thing he learned from her mother that i have only two hands <laughs> okay that's right with this example in a particular society the parent is like that the, uh, the head of the family has got a right to ask like this so he may uh, sometimes he may be uh, childish also he may say i don't want your food so that's a child he is learned helplessness he is telling or his authority no no i will go out and have food instead even if he is not asking like this adult way would you tell me when the food would be ready so he can definitely anger what happened even even the adult even may ha, even may appreciate the wife in such a way that that's why the importance of transaction how a transaction can improve the relation so he can definitely tell the appreciate and tell the wife uh, what happened see you used to you, make the food ready by 1 o'clock what happened today to you then it is an appreciation to her then she would respond some guest was there or something was not some provision was not available she had to get it from the uh, neighbor or uh, some cooking gas issue then the, the health the relation will be there. just see just understand if you are in the adult state even in the childish state sometimes the problem will be solved it can be romantic okay if it's still not ready it will take another one hour you close all the kitchen we'll go out and food then the it will be healthy thing hope you are clear about it so even at the cry of a child suppose a child he doesn't like a child a parent may curse the child he find time only to cry and then parayale eppo kele karachala so suppose he is the the child state i am fed up with it because of this child i am not able to do anything suppose he is really angry what is the reason so let me let me take the child to a pediatrician let me see is there any problem because you know the delman theory a happy child you have to create a happy child how you have to nurture the child even at the 10 month the child uh, child a lot of uh, deposits of ill feeling unconscious level of fraud and everything is created so it in a very correct sense here is clearly explaining how a child small even a small child should be motivated we have studied all this uh, uh, faith and all the trust versus mistrust everything so few more examples i am just uh, mentioning when the diary is not seen here again in the patriarchal society that's why kandath lachan i made this particular thing i really admire him because in the particular patriarchal society in the suppose a father he is uh, running a supermarket or so uh, he has uh, written all the accounts in a diary uh, on the day of 30th he has to settle all the accounts whatever he has to give he has to give and whatever he has to get he has to collect back all these uh, accounts are written in a diary now usually in a patriarchal society you just imagine what happens 
if that dairy is missing especially on the particular day when he want that dairy what will happen uh, he would say nothing could be seen in the right place in vetil endu vachalum kaanilla he curse ridicule all the family members suppose it's in the child ego say the other one is authority in the patriarchal society uh, the parent has got an authority he would blame everybody and maybe his mistake so child the ego state he would say so that's sad the person is sad lord helplessness he would say that oh god where did i miss my dairy i have to settle all the account i have to get many thousands i have to settle a few hundreds to somebody how will i get it now of course you have got the computer everything but even now everybody all the people may not be aware of all these things so even that hard copy is very important because he would have initialed sometime sometimes he would have taken the initial so all these are there in the dairy so suppose he is an adult he would call of course certainly my family life i got improved because of the studies if i am not able to find out i really call the help of my wife and children because from this studies only i also learned i call everybody you see makale uh, or uh, wife uh, her name is jodi you know, did you see the dairy i call everybody or uh, did you see my uh, something valuable then everybody will come and search suddenly we will find out so that is an adult say this help me learn lot of things still i have to improve a lot by becoming a tutor in this at least every 6 months i am taking class for you i am blessed with this thank you and the next is a late coming boy a teacher is cursing so even teacher is cursing his child uh, teacher is complaining that means teacher is a parent because uh, students are always like this but they even now i think uh, you have seen a video a 2 minute video why the child is late he has to take care of his ailing parents then after that only his child is coming to the class if the person is inquiring he will come to know real tough realities not in every case more many of the cases if you find the reason you can solve it on seeing a policeman a child means child will run away uh, then uh, suppose a parent has got a bad image on police he is wandering for getting some bribe then uh, suppose an adult is particularly available coming to my particular area the neighboring will okay that was a theft or there was a complaint that's why it's come coming at the long queue of a hospital so suppose uh, vaccination is there vaccination day is there on that day it will be uh, there will be heavy rush uh, so the thing is that uh, suppose that person unknowingly every time he is going a particular day because it's a off now off day for him he is working a shift a friday is an off day for him he is going uh, to hospital on every friday he would curse the hospital every day it's a mess but he is uh, he is not angry why uh, it's a rush then somebody would answer friday is it will be vaccination day there will be heavy rush will be there so a child means yeah, i lost myself well, now all day is lost because of coming to the hospital suppose an adult uh, he will enquire is there any other day available where i can book and come there not be any rush so i hope my dear friends you are clear about what is a parent adult child by becoming in the parent child there is lot of good things are there i am not saying that all parents are bad i am just trying to explain from a case the particular area that i am i think i have already put my location i changed to nearby nad i am just giving a case study it's actually my wife's uh, native place since i like this place i purchased some land and built a house so during the then uh, how a, even a small child may become a parent to me i am just trying to explain my experience maybe some 25 years back where i didn't have even a vehicle it is actually a remote area uh, even now but of course now i got car nearby houses have got car vehicle everything is there at that time it was not there so the wife has to be taken for delivery the symptoms was produced by uh, 6:30 in the evening i ran to the particular road and uh, searched a vehicle and arranged it by the time i did this it has become more dark i lived uh, very near to Uh, nh so uh, we don't even use a torch now to go back uh, to the paddy field through the paddy field i was little 
reluctant. So I just inquired in the nearby house, can you give me a torch? They said, no, we don't use all these torches and all that. We are used to this place. Because during delivery and all that, we have to be there in the white house for some time. So otherwise, I never used to, rarely used to go there, never stayed late. So one boy, boy gave, uh, then I asked for a candle. He gave me a candle. So after late lighting it, I was walking with this candle. So then the boy corrected me. He was a small boy. Now he got married and he got children. So he told me, uh, Chata, it is not like that. Uh, I will help you. He took a coconut shell, uh, broke uh, the, it with a small piece and fixed it inside the coconut shell. Now I got in a flight. So actually, it is a good learning because at that time I didn't know or even if I knew that was in my unconscious. That's why. Things that were in the unconscious will not act as a parent. So you would have uh, experienced it. You knew, but it could not work. But the parent is everyday behavior. So this boy, after he taught this, I used to tell this in the class. Even that boy, learning from that boy is a parent to me. Because after that, I am, I am very cautious to learn from children also. Because they can also say a parent. So something that is concreted, our good parenting is there. Our parents have taught us many good things. We cannot say that parent is bad. But what is bad? The contamination. Contamination means I learned from my father. See the example you see. Nothing could be seen in the right place in this, in this particular screen. This I learned from my father or the authority. I am also repeating the same thing. I am spoiling my at least that day life. Then uh, after I repeat many times, I myself lose the value in my house because I am behaving like this to my children and wife. So this is one. Uh, the, when there is a contamination, so now only you can understand what is contamination. So the contamination. Parent is contaminating the adult or through a sorrow by cursing others. In the hospital queue, that person is cursing. So that means he is not able to think realistically. Integrated adult is not. So parent is good, child is good. Best example I will tell you, a person who, uh, an IIS officer married or IPS officer married, he is beh behaving like, a IP, IPS like an IPS officer in the bedroom, he will be a failure. So likewise, most appropriate way of acting without contamination. So deliberately you are using the child, good. Deliberately using your parent to make a good relation, good. So parent is good, child is good. Only thing is that you should not be the authority uh, meant to contaminate your adult or meant to, con the child should not contaminate the adult. You should be bold enough. One example I'll tell you. When I was using a moped, uh, when the petrol was lost, Petrol is uh, engine is starving and engine just uh, suddenly stopped. It was a moped, no indication, nothing was there. And so you suppose my wife is telling, Oh, the day is lost. Then that is a child. Instead, what is an adult should do? Put that uh, vehicle in the stand, take an auto, take a can, or buy a can, go to the next petrol pump. Uh, fill the tag with petrol, bring back, start the vehicle and go. That is the adult. I hope you are clear. My dear students, are you clear about this uh, ego states and how you can make it good? So in this way, you can make uh, the relation healthy, solve the problem. That means just uh, that's the importance of this TA, just by improving the transaction, you can be in the the external, sorry, internal locus of control most of the time. We need not have to blame others. If there is a blame, you should shoulder it. There should be some mistake by choosing the university itself. Suppose you are strong even now that Igno is not good, then you should not have chosen. I am not saying that uh, uh, we are all perfect, but we are doing the best in our, within our limitations. So let me finish it by using the nurturing parent, the adapted child and all that. So through a, uh, through a picture, I will show this. 
see a nurturing parent means parent is always positive towards a child a controlling parent means unnecessary whatever uh, the vice versa that you used to take the case of eric erickson trust versus mistrust building a trust is nurturing mistrust controlling so a natural free child you can develop you through nurturing controlling parent many times may be a rebellious child simple adapted child means it depends you cannot give a concrete picture how an adapted child will be child may adapt positively or negatively because uh, as we have explained uh, the uh, identical twins one person became one person became a statesman uh, appreciable appreciated by the president of that country the other identical twin became a criminal when interviewed uh, the uh, the first uh, the criminal background child said how can i improve my father was a drug god we were denied, denied schooling my mother was uh, beaten so how can i be different so he adapted to the wrong way the other child you know he said my father was same thing he said my father was a drug god i was not given schooling my mother was beaten but i wanted to be different so the adapted you cannot say so the nurturing is possible through a good parenting so uh, you can have a natural free child so otherwise the child may become a rebellious child so the rebellion in ourselves also can be changed by understanding the concepts of parent parent you, you should not allow uh, for a contamination that is that is the importance of this so this is the contamination suppose the parent the belief the prejudice here both the parent in the form of prejudice and child in the form of phobia intruded upon the adult thus contaminated the adult suppose now uh, you fear a cockroach that means a child of your fear that is uh, your adult is contaminated because of the child helplessness the sad things of course you are sad for some time okay you must be able to recover otherwise you are the, the your child is contaminating the adult like then the same way parent uh, your child is not uh, doing well Oh, so I am fed up with this. That there is a child. The parent is telling that, sir, without study, scoring very good marks, the child is incapable of doing it. You can turn the child to some other uh, vocational training. You can improve the life instead of cursing. So that is, if there is a prejudice, parent. So without studying, like in uh, Spadigam film, that uh, mathematics are na, achu danda ano parayin do pala. so likewise uh, you will spoil that parent is spoiling the life of the child the mohalla likewise uh, the contamination whether a educated person or less educated person whoever any type of contamination uh, will result in illness in development of personality now our nurturing all these are explained uh, all this you can i will be sending this uh, today itself <coughs> now script belief anyhow due to the parenting or due to the beliefs beliefs are that is cbt abcs of cbt you will be studying this i'll be covering this in another class uh, that is the antecedent uh, there's some in, an incident then is a belief and the consequence suppose a script belief uh, i will explain this uh, script belief through a case study you will not be able to read it carefully now because uh, it's a uh, screen uh, filled with small letters i'll be sending it i'll just brief it a small girl she has got a script she made a script by herself that when i was born my mother died so the reinforcing memory of the child was that everybody ridiculed her saying that uh, you gave death to your mother you are so bad so when mother was not there she was the, this geeda's racket sister that girl was uh, sexually abused at 6 years then shortened relationship uh, uh, the family life so all the reinforcement it acted as a vicious circle dushita vale onnil ninna mattonnileke from bad to worse so the racket, reinforcing memory the script will come 
such people are scripted or you yourself is scripted what you have to do is you have to scrap it that's all right now you can understand script can be scrapped script means the reinforce like gita gita sagita system she had lot of uh, bad memories bad events so that script is there so she says i cannot impace no escape no escape is possible so what will happen the script is written in such a way that there is no escape for her so now he say it has to be scrapped how it can be scrapped there should be a counter script to give a counter script not alone motivation is required no not not alone motivation is enough you must be in a position to give counter script as well as resource positive decision how to live work hard there is no other way so even a 30 year old girl like geeta sakiti sister lost everything sexually abused mother lost everything we agree but still she can continue her studies have a bread of her own that is through hard work she can also be successful so such a counter script not through advice but through various theories and therapies you have you can do release means script uh, scrap is s c r scrap r means release the released from the script due to some intervention that is intervention is you nobody else and the case studies various slides that we studied the nature nurture concepts everything we studied will help you because nature nurture concepts will make you understand that uh, the nothing is wrong with anybody because a person got his genetic wiring from his parents then he nurtured right from mother's womb that we studied everything and nurturing ends only in the graveyard that all things you studied so nature nurture concepts very relevant in counseling so it can be released through some intervention aspiration individual sort on everybody that is what the physics he said the physics i hope you remember the concept after mortido libido physics is there so not only that you have to grow you have to grow more perfect the patterning refers to a modeling of significant others that means you can also model see the people many people had all these things they also you can but that alone will not help because the person himself or herself has to get enough resource to bring up because a person is illiterate or lost in schooling tomorrow you study something go for vocational training this india uh, plenty of people uh, low paid uh, not that uh, dignity of labor now you know covid uh, we ought all uh, private organizations what they did they reduced the salary to half many lakhs are jobless even government self government for us uh da is freest strike wise lot of things are there in such a country like india you will not be able to simply motivate you have to be it make the person resourceful then only you can change i hope uh, the class is fruitful to you if you have got any doubts you can ask or uh, tomorrow onwards i'll be i'll be clubbing various theories and i'll start covering the mental disorders that is only well, little only covered in you some anxiety disorder personality disorder etc mentioned but i will be covering most of the diseases clubbing with each and every theory and therapy